92.7 WOBM. Good morning, Sean and Sue with you on a Monday morning. It is February 13th, 840. Time right now to be joined by our special guest today. We're joined by Dr. Ali Mosfi, cardiologist with the Meridian Cardiovascular Network, part of the Hackensack Meridian Health Group. And we thank you, doctor, for joining us. Talk about Heart Month. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Very good. Let's begin, obviously, heart disease. It's serious. Let's talk about some of the statistics when we're talking about heart disease. Yes, I mean it's it's the num, 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 number one cause of death in uh, in in the U.S. And you know we think of uh, when, 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 whenever we think of death, we think of cancer, we think of AIDS and all that. And but this has been for many many years the num, num, number one cause of death. Do you think that people are as knowledgeable about heart disease as they should be, or do you think we're getting better? How do we stand with all that? Unfortunately, I think they do think that they are knowledgeable about it because they hear about it all all the time. And um, uh, but but the fact of the mad mad matter is that they have to learn a lot more about mm-hmm. it. We are getting better, but we are not there yet. Something I'm surprised about, Sue, and I'm sure you find this to be a bit of alarming: the mm-hmm. amount of women who deal with heart disease. Oh yes. The majority of the um, w- w- women who have heart problems have not even had the t- t- typical symptoms of chest pain and all that. Mm. And when they get a heart attack, their com- complication rates are higher. And they're, 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 therefore, it's very important for them more than men to know about our, what our heart disease. What steps can we take to learn more about our heart or to see how our heart is doing? I think the most important thing is to read. There is so much in, okay. in, in information of available mm-hmm. today on the internet and the so, so, so social media mm-hmm. um, that you sometimes get confused where to get the information. My recommendation would be to go to American Heart mm-hmm. or American College of Cardiology sources oh, as your best sources mm-hmm. as such. Let's talk about the that. risk factors that can lead to heart disease. These are what, like your big five here you have. Um, the high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, ob- obesity, and diabetes. Those would be the major risk factors mm-hmm. which go along with heart, heart disease. All right. 80% of heart disease, according to your literature you provided with me, is preventable. What are some things wow. we can do to prevent heart disease or to help make us you know, less you know, prone to it? I, th- I think the first thing, and the first and foremost thing we have already spoken about is to first learn mm-hmm. about it. Yeah. That's the okay. most important thing. Read about and, uh, it. Read, mm-hmm. read about it, learn, learn about it. And the next thing to do is to try to do what is being taught. That is to exercise, like two and a half hours a week, about 20 minutes a day. Mm-hmm. Uh, eat a health, health, uh, healthy diet, which is rich in fruits and vegetables. Try to reduce your stress, and in today's world, that's easier said than done. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, take st- steps to reduce smoking. It's it's critical to quit smoking. With each puff, you're creating a poison with, with, within your body, not just for heart, but for many other conditions. And also, an important thing to do is to have a regular ch- checkup with, with your doc- doctor. I had to put in a plug for myself. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, some of the symptoms, like signs in general here, that if you go through should be a warning to maybe either call the doctor or get to the ER. There were some things that you talked about uh, with cardiovascular disease. What would be some of those symptoms? A uh, Chest pain is the most dramatic thing that hap- mm-hmm. happens in these in, in individuals, and that happens because the blood flow to the heart muscle is, is stopped by the closure of the artery that is supplying that area. It is like a water pipe getting closed and there's no water mm-hmm. coming through and you're thirst, th- thirsty and that dying heart muscle cries out uh, with chest pain. Uh, short, shortness of breath is the other feature. A dead heart muscle, weak heart muscle, now is not pump, pumping enough blood. The fluid pulls up in your lungs and you become short, short of breath. You can have palpitations like racing of the heart, heartbeat. You may be fatigued, you may be tired, and um, you get dizzy. All those symptoms put together. But the most dramatic thing is chest pain and, short, and shortness of breath. Doctor, does anybody ever say to you, every time I talk to a heart doctor, because I like to get my you know, heart checked and stuff, I feel like my chest is tightening right now. Speaking to you, <laughs> is this happening to you, Sean? No. I feel my chest going... <laughs> 
Yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll have you check her out before you go. <laughs> maybe we better Always. have you check her out before we go. It's weird. No, it's like it's anxiety. Just, uh, I think it's a little nerve. It's just yeah, it's the like, subject <laughs> matter. They, they, they have called it the white coat syndrome. That's that. That's why I don't wear a white coat. Oh, okay. There, there, there you, you go. go. All right. <laughs> if you want more details, you can visit hackensackmeridianhealth.org and then put slash and then put heart in there. Very simple for mm-hmm. heart disease. Just put the uh, .org slash heart for more details and find out all you need to know about National Heart Month and the heart disease and how you can prevent it and stay healthy. Uh, doctor, thanks so much for being in with us today. It's a very important topic, and I think mm-hmm. it affects so many people, so many families. Everybody has had someone in their family who's mm-hmm. had a heart uh, problem at some point or another. Definitely. My pleasure. I hope it helps somebody. Thank all right. You, thanks doc. for being with us. And we'll have-